Today we're going to take another look at the Quantum Byte Windows Mini PC running Windows 8.1. Uh, this is a great uh, little mini computer. We did a review of it as a media center and I'm still very happy using it as a media center in my living room. But I get a lot of questions. Is it powerful enough to run games? Is it powerful enough to run a whole host of software? Well, it is a full copy of Windows 8.1 so you can install anything you want on it. The quad-core processor works great. Uh, it's got two gigabytes of RAM on it. So it's not the most hefty of a computer available, but it does a surprisingly um, great job of playing video games. Uh, we're going to test this out two ways. We're going to show it with Steam streaming games from my uh, gaming PC in my office to my living room. And we're going to show it running games natively installed on the device uh, of the Quantum Byte. So let's first check out the um, streaming Black Ops. It's Call of Duty is often one of the more intensive games out there. First person shooters just in general can be rather intensive. So let's check that out. As you can see, very smooth load times. Uh, no problem here. Um, let's check out loading into a server because we're just in the browser right now. Now I am using a Re i8 wireless keyboard and touchpad. Um, it is not really a, meant to be used for gaming. There's three USB ports on the Quam um, Byte. Of course, you can always install a USB hub on there to put more. So you can put a gaming keyboard and mouse, or you can get an Xbox or other type of controller if you want to use that instead. So I've been very impressed with the speed of this, the ability for it to um, quickly load into the different games and display them. Um, it does like to hang right here for a moment, and then it goes right in. Let's just kind of spectate some people. As you can see, very smooth, consistent streaming of the games from the PC. Now, a little caveat here, I do have a very nice router. Um, it's a Netgear, it was like 130 bucks when I bought it. It's one of their AC networks. Very happy with it. So keep in mind, the quality of your Wi-Fi router will depend on the how great this works for you. And this is the streaming. Well, let's back out of here now that we've seen this work. And um, actually, let me uh, let me actually jump into the game real quick. And see, I'm in the game now. Uh, as you can see, I'm moving around. It's smooth. It works great. Um, and it's more than sufficient to stream these games from your living room. So let's uh, exit out of here. Let's go test out a game actually installed on your computer on the quantum byte so oh and again if you're going to do this get a better um i love the re i8 it's a great wireless keyboard does a great job with xbmc the touchpad is great for surfing windows it's not a gaming controller so keep that in mind um another fairly um hefty game that does take a lot of processing power and it's a fairly graphically beautiful game, is Civilization. So let's check out Civilization 5 here. Um, uh, now this is installed on the actual Quantum Byte. This is not running from the gaming PC um, in my office. So let's kind of see how this works. I've been impressed with it. I played a little bit, um, had no issues with it at all. As you see, the game starts real quick. Um, let's, um, as soon as we can, let's jump off to the main menu. There we go. So I've been impressed with it. Not a lot of um, issues. I put the Quantum Byte under a lot of stress. I have yet to see it crash or hang up. It is a full copy of uh, Windows 8, so the software is great. The actual hardware is great too, so that's a big plus. Um, even with my heavy gaming system, the Civilization 5 load screen does take a little bit. Now, I mentioned earlier while we wait for this to fully load in that the you can use an Xbox uh, 360 controller with this. Um, if you're the kind of person that wants a game with PC games but sitting in your living room, that's a great option. I'll put a link in the YouTube video at the bottom about how to do that. Um, there is ways to also use a, a PS3 controller with it. Um, I've done that before. I don't own a PS4, so I can't test that out. All right, so we're in the menu. Let's load a save game I started. Uh, go in the, the cloud here and click load. 
Now again, this is running off the Quan Byte hardware. This is not running off of my computer. Uh, the load times, once you're in the game, seems to be very smooth. The actual control of the game is very smooth. Uh, I've been very happy with it. And of course, the processor and the graphics card just make it look beautiful. So as this loads, um, anybody who's used Civilization V knows load times can be a bit long with it. I've actually been impressed with how short they are, which may seem a little weird looking at how long they take on the video, but here we go, we're already in it. So let's select the um, game. As you see, I just started this one recently. I'll do a little zooming out. As you can see, very smooth, smooth motion. So let's uh, kind of jump forward and show you what a, um, a typical turn going through all the different places. See here, we'll we'll jump forward. There we go, unit. And next turn. All right, so I got all my units taken care of. Let's process through a full turn. So there's six different players, um, several city states, barbarians running, and you can see it just went through a turn, no problem. So let's kind of send my guys over here and um, run another turn to give you an idea. There we go, six players processing cities and then processing the barbarians and the turns over. So very, very happy with the processing power on this. Again, I'm running this on the actual Quantum Byte Windows PC, um, the mini one, so very happy. Let's exit out of this game and go back to actual Windows. As you can see, very smooth, very quick um, processor, gets you out of the games. Load times aren't great, but it's mostly the Sid Meier game issue there. Once you're actually in the full game, getting into the game is quick, doing your turns is quick, very happy. Uh, I think this um, Windows Quantum Byte will run most games. Um, I probably wouldn't be putting Battlefield 4 on it, expect it to be a high-end, you know, set everything to max. But streaming from my gaming PC, um, Call of Duty worked great. Um, Civilization installed in the actual game worked great. Let's take a look at a little bit less demanding um, game. Let's look at Heroes of Might and Magic HD Edition. So just to give you an idea how quickly this will load up on the stream when you're working on a little bit lower in game. I'm already in the game. So works great. Let's exit through this real quick. Get to the actual load menu. Um, let's pick up where I kind of left off. I love this game. A uh, little disappointed in the HD version. Uh, the good old games version may not be in HD, but it has all the map packs and stuff. So a little side commentary there. But as you can see, quick load in. I'm in the game. I can sit back on my couch, play some Heroes of My Magic. It works beautiful. Um, this turns over, so let's jump forward. Uh, again, as quick as can be. This is as quick as my gaming PC can make this game jump forward. Very happy with it. Um, I really do think it's a powerful computer. Um, amazing Windows uh, Media Center options. And it does a great job as a gaming PC. If you want something to stream things to your living room, play some games out there, if you like having the remote, sitting back on the couch with something to drink. Uh, you know, this really is a great option. So that's my review. Let me exit out of here. If you have any questions or comments about using the Windows Quam Byte um, Mini PC as a gaming system, uh, I hope this answered it. If not, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can to my, the best of my ability. But for me, as a Windows Media Center, it's excellent. It's also a great um, option for some heavier tasks.